I'm not sure if you noticed it. When I was going through these stores at the end of the last episode, I told you I was going to kind of take a look at what's going on with them. And store number one, we'll just start with the first one. This is our original store, you know, kind of a convenience store type thing. Made $1,000 yesterday. Not bad, right? Not bad. We go to store number two, which is kind of the big grocery store type thing. Made $1,153 yesterday. Not bad, but also not very good when you compare it to this store, which uh, it seems like it should be making more money, especially since there's another checkout counter in there, but uh, you got to pay employees. So mm, maybe it, it should make more, but uh, it just isn't right now. I, I, I need to figure that one out. I mean, $822 in South Maurice versus five sixteen. dollars uh, Total sales, you know, total sales are definitely higher, but not enough for it to really be awesome. Store number six, though, is where the money's at. And I knew that was going to be the case when I put a clothing store down. And that's why I kind of went clothing instead of electronics, because I knew the clothing store would be good money, but not insane money like the electronics store will be when we get around to that one. So this one clearly made $2,638 in profit, never mind $3,000 in sales. That's nuts. That's bonkers. And look at that. Salaries, $396. It costs nothing to run the store, practically nothing. I mean, look, it's literally under $500 to run the store, and yet it made $2,600 in actual net profit. That's that's crazy talk right there. We need to do some research. We are not researching anything right now. I would kind of like to, one of these days, get around to doing the night shift 24-hour thing. Why did I stop chemical supplies? I thought I finished that. I guess I did not. I switched right before it was done. Well, that was really dumb. I just now realized that I had no clue that I did that. We need to build some stuff. I think we can build something like a bus stop. Is that is that right? That's probably going to be under the road work if I had my guess. Bus stop cost $10,000. Holy crap. Wow. We're going to build a bus stop right there. Bus stops are brand new to me. I've never seen these before. Back when I was originally playing this game many, many, many months ago, bus stops did not exist. Some of these things that we've already played with didn't exist. Like offices didn't exist. Office to desk didn't exist. Rotating things so that they are sideways or all sorts of directions didn't exist. This game has seen a lot of changes, improvements, uh, additions, bug fixes, all sorts of stuff along the way. And you know what? That's awesome because I enjoyed this game way back then. And you know what? I am still enjoying it now. Let's speed time up. I don't want to wait forever for that. Hey, we got a bus. I don't know what bus runs at 3 a.m., but um, apparently one does. Wow, that is not a good location for the bus stop because it actually stops traffic right there. I might have made a bad decision to do that, and that's... Oh, that's not good. I mean, it's not there for long, but it keeps coming back every hour. That seems to be the case. Uh, I guess everyone just screamed past the bus there is how that worked. Huh, I'm going to have to pay closer attention to that. I was also trying to pay close attention to my stores and get a, a kind of, um... Hmm. I really didn't line that up right. That needed to be rotated or something. Just out of curiosity, can I rotate that? I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, nope. Hmm. All right, well, looks like the bus stop should actually be built on this side, not on this side. I wonder if that's broken now and not working. I'm not really sure. I kind I guess I kind of need to have my stores open to see if uh, people are actually going to ride the bus over here or not, because if they aren't... Oh, there we go. Three cars got stopped. That's not too bad. We'll we'll let that slide and see how that goes. That may or may not be an okay thing. Uh, we were noticing, though, at the end of the last episode, this store is just nuts. There are so many people in here, and unfortunately, the profit margin is not all that high. But it gets a ton of people to come and spend their money around here, which uh, is generally a good thing. I like how they use this store as a means of getting to their parking. <laughs> Ah, that's great. Oh, research done. All right, chemical supplier is done. So I can now actually sell detergents and soaps and deodorants and all that stuff that I would like to put in some store somewhere, but I don't know where that store is going to be. Media supplier, electronic supplier, appliances. I like to sell all that stuff. Could do the big box store, the big brick and mortar Amazon showcase store. A luxury supplier, I wouldn't mind doing that. But I kind of think that it's time for the game to shut up. So we're going to go ahead and research a restaurant. We'll do a restaurant. That's going to be our next big build is a restaurant. 
Uh, chances are, though, that that might not happen for a little while, because I'm going to need to get some more money here. Uh, we're not quite at the point where we're going to make five grand in a day. We probably need another store before we can do that. Uh, we'll hit 5,000 total sales pretty soon. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a while because we really only just hit halfway there. But with three stores now, that's going to go up a little faster. Have 100 customers on site? That's probably not going to happen until we have another store. So really, uh, I probably shouldn't even be doing restaurant, but whatever. I'm going to do it because I'm tired of the game yelling at me. There it is. See, I knew I was going to get one. I knew I was going to get one. Yep. Queues in line four are... Line four, store four are full. All right. Yeah, I know. They're still full. And I know. Another missed opportunity because we don't have a restaurant. It'll be okay. I think what we'll end up doing is we'll open up a restaurant, but it's going to have limited hours to start with. Because my experience in the past was that they weren't super profitable. So don't necessarily want to have a bunch of them around. And man, look at this. I can probably right now get away with only having two cashiers over here. That's nuts. I am cutting it kind of cheap by only having one stock clerk, but that's working out really well. So I'm going to let that continue because I don't want to change that. Bus is working pretty well. Can I, can I find anything out about it? No, I can't. But look at that. Got two people waiting for it. Maybe I shouldn't say it's working out well. I should just say it's working. Oh, you're getting angry. You're going to have an aneurysm if you don't calm down. Calm. Calm yourself, Kim. Oof. Yeah, she was not happy there. She was just, like, all shaking and just... Man, look at this store. This is insanity. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, crap. I've actually run out of parking. Are you serious? Oh, crap. Um. Oh, man. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't really leave room for more parking over here. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, I know. Queues are full. Nowhere to park. Um, loading and unloading zone. Uh, cop car. Not a cop car. Never mind. Uh, we might have to add more parking back here. Oh, man. Um, yeah, queues are full. I know. Uh, I was... Uh, I kind of talked about it in the last one about maybe using this space over here as... Uh, uh, grrr, oh. Maybe as a, a, as a place to kind of build out storage? Um, I don't know. I know. Restaurants, 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 restaurants. Cues, cues, cues. I know. Believe me, I know. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, here, let's go ahead and build some roads. I'm just going to do something like that. Uh, I know, I cannot build over there. I mean, I can build right there. I can't build right there because i got to open that up through research. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That's going to take a while to build those roads. I just don't want my people sitting around doing nothing. I'm not paying you to do nothing. Suddenly understand the plight of the business owner. I'm not paying you to sit around. I want you to work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. And you're all off. Good. All right, well, apparently they left you to do everything on your own, Ingrid. But you're actually pretty darn awesome at this. Look at that. Holy crap, she's good. She is just knocking this road out on her own. Uh, let's take a look at the stores because I'd like to know. 1,042, that's about what you did yesterday. 1,400, that's actually better than you did yesterday. And 2,700, that's slightly better than you did yesterday. Not a whole lot of difference, but store number four, I still need more checkout counters. I, I am willing to bet you I'd make more money if I had more checkout counters. So let's just take a look. What is this going to be? What would this mean if I were to do something like build this out and I can't can't do a whole lot is the problem oh man that's not really going to be useful I, I kind of need to to get rid of this delivery right here and put it right here and then instead just expand this out and say the heck with symmetry 
pull this all the way out, bring you over here. I can add a little more parking right here. And I guess that can, can work. I, I don't know. That tree that I placed, I think I'm just going to blow it up. I think I am. Yeah. I'm just going to let Ingrid go ahead and attack that road over there because she's already done so much of it. All the other workers just bailed on her that I don't want to take her away from it. it it's kind of her baby now. It's her, it's, her, it's her pet project. Okay, actually, it's neither of those because I'm paying her to do this, but just the same. I, I would like her to finish it or at least do as much as she can before she leaves. All right, someone else should be here. Go do the work. Uh, oh, you're starting over here. Okay, good. Well, that's actually not what I really thought you would do, but um, I suppose that is cool, and I can work with that as an option, so... Cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know! So, if I do a garbage pickup right here, or um, a loading zone, rather, right here, is this going to break everything? I'm not really sure just yet. kind of want to do it, but at the same time, I'm not sure I want to do it just yet. It's, um... Ah, oh man, you know, it, it's... Ah. Decisions, decisions. I, I kind of feel like if I, I... I need to wait until it's later, because I'm going to end up getting deliveries right now, and I want to blow this up and then move that around, so I think I really need to wait until just a little bit later to do this, so... You know, let me just let a little time kind of zoom by. Maybe a little more time. How are we doing on research, by the way? We're actually halfway there. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, restaurants, I know. And building this road was kind of silly, because that cost me a lot of money that I actually could have used elsewhere, but I'm feeling pretty confident that we'll be able to get a couple of these soon ish and and that'll help kind of push things along and I mean we might be able to build a, a restaurant on the cheap maybe 40,000 35,000 something like that I'm not not really sure but I think once I'm able to expand this stuff out I'll, I'll add uh, an extra cash register or two over here we're gonna just kind of blow this room this this whole building up we're just gonna modify it a little bit oh my goodness Cues are full, cues are full, cues are full. I know. Believe me, I know. I wish it would let me know parking parking usage, you know, 70 of 72 used or something along those lines. That would be good. Peak customers, 87. Yeah, that's all right. The bus actually helps a lot to bring in some additional customers without requiring parking spot, so that's pretty cool. I dig that a lot. And, uh, you know, there's, what, six, seven people over there or something like that? Uh-oh. Adrian! Don't burst a blood vessel! You you look... Wow, look at that. Six people lined up, ready to go. You look like you're just gonna fall apart or something. Don't hurt yourself. Please do not hurt yourself. I, I, I would not be happy to see that. You are a valued customer, and I would love to see you come back tomorrow and buy more stuff. Instead of buying a soda, maybe you should consider buying a coat. Can I get you to buy a coat? They make me a lot of money. That's why I'd like you to buy a coat. All right, build. Let's blow this stuff up. Remove road work right there. Remove that bad boy. And then let's remove that and... Uh, I need to let them take that apart before I decide if I'm blowing that up. I don't think I am. I think what I'm doing is doing a loading zone right there, and actually, you know what? I do want them to blow that one up right there, because I'm going to turn that into parking. That's, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to have enough money to really do another building soon is the problem, so... I hope this ends up working out okay. If not, then I guess I research jewelry and make money uh, arm over cufflink something. I don't know. Uh, selling overpriced, ridiculously expensive jewelry to people.
which uh, I feel totally fine about because I'm greedy and I want your money. Let us build a foundation upon which we can build a greater store. So we'll do something like that. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to add an object of a staff door right there. That'll be perfect. And then I'm going to blow this stuff up over here. We'll just do remove walls and objects. We're going to remove all of those guys. And we will probably need to do a new foundation right there. This poor... Is that is that Ingrid again? Yeah. I'm going to say, this poor worker, I'm just having her do a bajillion in one things. That's kind of craziness. Uh, we're going to actually get rid of... Oh, you know what? I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Here, let's uh, let's build and remove road work. Let's remove that guy. I didn't mean to do that. I My bad. I, I broke things. I done gone broke did it it. I know, those are not real words. Just pretend they are. Objects, build another staff door. I want you to build one right there. I guess I do have a floor under there. Who knew? I thought I was going to have to build foundations right there, but I guess I do have them. Good. That makes life better. Loading zone right there. So we're going to have to blow that one up shortly. Because uh, that's no longer going to be a loading zone. Assign storage. Where are you? Let us expand you. Look at that. Expand that to number seven storage zone. You are now large and ready to take stuff from uh, that one. All right. I'm going to let her stock the shelves right quick before I do this. And then we're going to change the loading zone over. Or the storage zone, rather. I, I should say storage zone, not loading zone. Okay, loading zone, storage zone, some sort of zone. We're going to have four over here, of course, because we're going to be taking everything into this door for both of these stores. And uh, it's going to work out okay, I think. Maybe. Crud, I might have to wait till the end of the day again. Because there are just so many people in here. And, and my worker is just having to constantly restock the shelves. This is crazy. This might not end up being large enough for both of those stores. Oh, goodness, I hope it is. I really hope it ends up being large enough, but it may not. Oh, man, are we done researching yet? So darn close. And I'm not going to have enough money to make a restaurant. I know it. But we'll get that ten grand for 5,000 total sales soon. I'm hoping we'll be able to hit 100 customers soon. Hoping. But we're probably not going to be able to do that until another store is made. Daily profit of five grand, probably not going to happen just yet. All right, that is done. I'm going to say let us go to jewelry. We're going to do it. I'm going to do one jewelry table in here, I think, because I want to see what are you selling? Shoes and shoes, women's shoes. Here, let's take a look at our needs because I might be way off on this. Uh, shirts, I could probably drop one of the shirt racks and I can do one jewelry rack and that would... That one jewelry shelf, whatever, on its own might be enough to basically uh, blast the profit through the ceiling. Believe it or not. That stuff, uh, all you have to do is sell a couple of them and you make a crap ton of profit. It's really good stuff. What are you guys buying? Shoes? Is that what that was? You're buying pants. Pants and pants. I'm being nosy. Oh, you're buying some shoes. Nice shoes. By the way, nice hair. Ooh, you bought a coat. I like you a lot. More coats, please. Can I get you to buy more coats? Uh, that's a jacket, I think. Those are pretty good, but I would rather sell more coats. I can sell coats all day long. How are we doing over here? We're going to need at least, I'm guessing, two checkout counters. I'll probably build three, but man, I hesitate to fill too many. Fill it with too many counters. I I, I don't know. Um, I know, restaurants and queues full. Man, store, store number one is still filling up too. We got two people in there, so you guys should be able to knock those those out right there. Oh, you're you're getting upset at the video game there. Wow, that cabinet made 40 bucks today. That's just free money. Um that one's not bad either. Holy cow. All right. Let us slow things down a little because we're now going to uh basically blow this stuff up. So manage uh zone storage number Five? Is that what you are? Okay, number five. Johnny Five is still alive. Or something. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess 
let's just start with building because we're going to have to remove some stuff. So let's remove some objects, etc. Go ahead and get you guys to remove all that stuff. And I'm going to have to get you to remove that and that because those can just be... I don't know what that one's going to be. That might just be a wall. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, you probably shouldn't be delivering stuff because uh, it's not going to work out very well for you. Just, just trust me on that one. So can I... Can I just... Uh, delete at least one active zone and fire all staff, if any. Yes. There's no staff in that one, so it's fine. Let me just make sure that that didn't break anything. So we have stock clerks. Good. Perfect. Looking good. So now what I need to do, because this store is totally broken, I need to assign storage of number seven. So theoretically here, um, theoretically, that's working fine. I think I can do both of those. Okay. You should be able to, because I'm fairly positive you can just have like one gigantic warehouse, and there's no problem with that. I, I'm pretty sure I've even done that before, but I just had a moment there where I thought, oh crap, can I actually do that? I better not have hallucinated that that's an option, because uh, that could be really bad if so. We need you to as you come over here to put those walls into place, which would be really, really good. Also going to need you to build some new checkout counters. So uh, we'll do one right there, one right there, and one right there. I want to build four of them just to be proactive-ish about it. And I'm going to do some new tables over here. We're going to do two new tables. And here, let's go ahead and set you to be... Uh, Fresh fruits, because I, I ended up getting rid of those. I feel badly about that. And then we're going to do some fresh vegetables. We don't have fresh bread. We just have the, well, kind of crappy bread. Um, hmm. I've kind of run out of my uh, actual shelf space now. I mean, yes, I realize I can add an additional shelf, and maybe I, maybe I will do that. Um... I can do one right there, and that, that still leaves enough room to get by. That'll be okay. Uh, what else do we need? Let's look at our, our actual needs here. We'll go to food. So what would make money? That's really all I'm concerned about. Uh, fresh fruits, vegetables. I should do some fresh bread. I'll do that. Uh, maybe I should do some more fresh meat. That seems to be... Well, here, let's, let's take a look right quick. What do you make? 10 to 20 bucks, 10 to 20 bucks... Man, we make 10 to 20 bucks. 30 bucks for ice cream? That better be like 12 gallons of ice cream, because that's insane. Okay, maybe not 12, but still. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like... I can't find it here anymore. Have you ever had Steve's ice cream? Yeah, Steve's ice cream. By the way, if there are any representatives from Steve's ice cream watching, please leave me an email. You can find my email address for business contacts on the channel's about page. Uh, if you would like to sponsor me with Steve's ice cream by just paying me in quarts of Steve's lovely, delicious, wonderful, tasty ice cream, I would be happy to receive that as an endorsement because holy crap, that's some good stuff. And I can't find it anymore. The two places that I had that sold it, they no longer sell it, so I can't get Steve's ice cream unless I have it shipped from New York. And that's expensive when you live in California. So anyway, that aside, that's some crazy expensive ice cream. I like me some Steve's and that's some pricey stuff when you buy a pint. It's not that expensive. Holy cow. All right. We need to get people in here, and we need to hire more staff. Oh, my goodness. Where are we? Store number four. We need to go to cashiers, and we need to hire a new cashier. Let's give you a starting hour of some o'clock. I don't know. 10 a.m. Sure. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to start with just one, one person uh, you made fifteen hundred bucks yesterday. You're you're not doing too badly. You actually made a little less than the day before. So I'm kind of hopeful that maybe by getting some additional product in, we'll be able to make a little more money. So let's do another table right there. That is going to be for fresh bread. And then uh, now is our option to do some expensive stuff. So um, we'll let those get placed. And we're going to do, like, I don't know, deodorant and that sort of thing, because that's going to be the expensive crap. So, let's see. We have some health and beauty options of shaving cream and razors. There should be a crazy markup on that if we're going to be 
reflecting reality and drugs. We're going to sell drugs. Now, that's not, you know, like illegal drugs. It's, it's, this is all legal stuff. But, um, yeah, that's what we're going to sell. I need to, since I just now realized I didn't do that, I had the thought, get rid of that. And then we'll do some build road work. We're going to do some customer parking. And come on, come on, come on, come on. We're just going to switch this over to customer parking. I'm waiting for the update that stops these guys in mid-tracks because they're carrying a little radio, you know, a walkie-talkie. If you want to think about it like that. And they come back instead of running all the way, all the way, all the way back here. And then, oh, I got the new work order. And then coming over here. I guess maybe you could say they're returning to get the materials. So that's fine. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. That's fine. It, it's all good. Uh, we have one, two, three, four people working the store or the, uh, the cashier windows in here. Drugs! Buy my drugs! Please buy my drugs because the, the actual good quality food doesn't really make me much money. So I'm hoping the drugs and the razors will. One, two, three, four still going. We should see five going. There we go. There's the five at a time right now. And look at that. We actually have... <laughs> holy crap. One, two, three, four. Well, I think for a moment we actually had seven going. Oh, wow. I think we need another janitor. Uh, maybe? I don't know. How's this store doing? Oh, it's looking pretty hideous. All right. We're going to have to... We're going to have to hire a new janitor. I'm feeling... I'm feeling like it's just a little... Uh, it's a little too messy for my taste. We need a new janitor. So you're a pretty good janitor. We're going to hire Kurt Haney. Is a going to get the job so um janitors let's go back to janitors and what is the starting hour on all these people we have bob who is the basically the graveyard guy i think that's what it's called graveyard i don't remember uh kurt and Kristen are coming in at uh, we'll we'll have kurt come in at 10 that way we kind of stagger it a little bit uh, maybe we'll have you come in at 11 three hours and then four hours in between oh wrong button Resume. Resume. I always want to hit E. Or rather, I want to hit escape, but I really should just be hitting E because I often just want to go back to select so that I can do stuff like this and go, wow, it's at 20%. Holy crap. Um, the only bad part with this store now is this. It's a really long run to go and get stock and bring it all the way back over here. That's a really long run. I'm not really happy about that. Holy crap. We're out of fish. We are out of fish. I might need another stock clerk in there. That might be part of the problem, too. Oh, geez. I'm going to have to wait and see what that store does for profit, though. Um, yeah, I know. Store number six is making bank. And we might actually hit that 5,000 profit mark today. I think there's a really good chance of that. But holy crap. Um, I don't know. We're, we're not doing too shabby here. And I can always get rid of some research people if we really need to cut some costs. So... We have options. Look at that. Main product is still soda. That's hilarious. Main product, liquor. Of course it is. I wouldn't expect it to be anything other than that. Probably could sell a little more, too. If I am if I were willing to bet, I would look over here and go um, beverages and go, yeah, we're not satisfying the liquor needs. Soda, we're not even satisfying the soda needs. We're not satisfying any of those needs. But we're reasonably close. So we got $1,072 yesterday in store number one. Store number four, 1581 And store number six, really raking in the dough. This is the whole reason this venture is, well, really profitable, is uh, $4,093. You can see we were short by $23. And now, as we roll into the next day, uh, we are losing money again. <laughs> We actually came so close, 4,947. It cost 30 bucks at the end of the day. Did not quite hit 5,000, but that one is up a little bit compared to the day before. Store number four is actually down a little bit again compared to the previous day, so I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I guess I guess I'm just not I'm not sure how to turn a profit in the store without going to just straight up more profitable stuff, but. I'm fine with it making 1500 and this one made 4182 so it actually made a little more than it, it had. That's not too shabby. So I was wrong. We were not able to crack the 5000 profit today. Uh, maybe with day 19 we'll be able to, and then uh, with 10000 bucks, that would actually be maybe enough to start on a restaurant. We're so close. 
Man, we are so close. Look at that. 50 types of products. We're just a few away. I have 100 customers on site. That hasn't really gotten any closer, but um, we might. Now that we added a few more shelves over here, added five more shelves, we might be able to get that up to 100. And 5,000 total sales will only be a couple of days away. So there are some there are some investments of 10 grand coming in sooner rather than later. And that guy's going to go play some late night video games, which really still just weirds me out that they can go into any any store way after hours and play a video game. But hey, I kind of get the idea. I kind of get the, the, the need. Sometimes you just got to go play a game. That's why I'm playing this one. And that's why we'll take, a, take a, another look at it on the next episode because we've run out of time. So I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Someone come pick up this trash. Thank you. See you later.